Hi everyone, a short video about new things in the modificator update. Uh, for those who don't know, modificator is a panel with your commonly used tool settings, from the brush settings panel or from the tool panel. Uh, plus it also includes some additional settings like eyedropper and uh, color sliders, which options to display and the layout of the options is customizable. I decided to make an image that shows where the settings I have in my modificator panel for the brush tool come from. It's quite fascinating to see how much settings I put together on this small panel. I have uh, specific settings from the tip shape, tip shape tab, from the shape dynamics, from texture, color dynamics, transfer, and from color sliders and tool options. All of them packed on this panel. Personally, I like to have very dense layouts that take as less space as possible with as much functionality as possible. If I open the brush settings panel and go, for example, to shape dynamics, you can see that here in my panel I have a control for brush angle and I can change it to tilt or direction on the modificator and the settings on the panel changes as well. The panel is still sensitive, so if I change, say, to Mixed Brush, I have a different layout of settings. If I switch to Move Tool, it has its own layout. So if you're not a fan of wasting time while browsing the brush settings, Modificator could save you some time and nerves. Now for the update. First of all, I added support for more tools and settings. For example, Rectangle and Elliptical Selection tool now can be switched between each other from the panel itself, uh, the same as lasso can be switched between lasso and polygonal tool directly from the panel. Smash tool has the finger paint option that was missing from the panel before. Uh, Mixer brush has load, load and clean, load solid colors only options. Uh, I also added controls for, for scatter, scattering and dual brush for brushes. So if you like to use those, they are now available. To see the full list of uh, available modules, please check the modificator manual that's located in the panel flyout menu. Next is an option to lock a setting. If I right mouse button click on any module and select lock setting, switching to a different brush, brush preset won't change this uh, setting value. The border and the background of the locked setting become slightly different. Let me quickly add an uh, opacity module on my panel. And now if I lock it, say at 20% and select a different tool present, the opacity will stay the same, the same 20%. So whatever tool I select, it will always change it, change its opacity uh, to the locket setting. And it doesn't matter if I switch the presence from the right mouse menu, from the presets window, uh, with a hotkey or from the brush router panel. I use this a lot to lock the color dynamics between the brush presets. This way I can switch between different brush presets that initially don't support color dynamics and the, the panel turns on the color dynamics for me. Or locking some specific settings, for example, here I have a wet edges checkbox and uh, I also have it locked. So whenever I switch between uh, different brush presets, the, the modificator always applies wet edges setting. Okay, so this one is done. Another new option for sliders is the always notch setting. I think the easiest way to explain it is just to show how it works. Uh, here I have my opacity slider and normally if I click it on it, the slider marker jumps to the cursor position. And if I hold and drag, Marker follows the cursor. If I hold Alt key while clicking and dragging, the value will move relatively to the current marker position. That's what I call nudging a value. So I can make some modifications to the value in, in a very precise fashion. Always nudge option uh, makes this Alt and drag behavior for the selected slider a default one. So if I right click the slider and go to module settings and set always nudge to on, clicking and dragging on the module will behave as alt click and dragging. So here I just I just click and drag. And if I simply click, nothing will happen because the value changes relatively. There is also a notch precision value 
that controls the speed of the marker. So if I set it to smaller values, the marker will move faster and vice versa. Setting it to 1 will make the marker move with the speed of a mouse cursor, but still relatively to the current marker position. Like this. I use always notch for modules that I know I only change values relatively. Slightly larger, slightly smaller than the current one. Uh, for me, for example, it's bare spacing. Here I have it like, set at uh, 3%. I don't even see the marker and uh, the slider values because I don't really need them. So I just click and slightly drag and you see the value changes relatively from the current, mm, from the current value. And here I have a color color hue slider. I have always notch for this slider also enabled. And uh, with it, I can make my current color slightly cooler or slightly warmer just by just by clicking and dragging over it. So that's uh, always nudge. Next is disable entire category. Uh, disable entire category is an option for certain radio buttons and sliders. The option is located in the module settings. And when it's enabled, it uh, disables the entire category of that model. So for example, for opacity, it's a transfer category. Let me show you on an example. Here I selected a brush reset that has opacity and flow controller set to pen pressure. On my modificator, I have an opacity control that can switch between off and pen pressure. And those are the only two settings I use. So here how uh, the brush looks with its current settings. If I don't want my brush to have a opacity expression and I turn it off, flow controller is still on, meaning that I still have some loss of uh, opacity when I paint with this brush. So here I have two possibilities. The first one is to add a flow controller and uh, turn, turn the flow manually. But I don't really use flow controller that often and I don't want to waste space uh, on my panel. So the second possibility is to turn on the disable entire category option. Now setting off the opacity control disables the entire transfer category. So my brush now behaves absolutely opaque. Okay, and the last thing is the copy size and position for modules. Uh, for example, let me get rid of this guy. For example, I have my spacing module here. It's uh, nice and condensed and I like it this way. If I switch to my mixer brush, here I also have my spacing model and it's larger. If I switch to Smudge tool, it also has a spacing model and it's much larger. So say I want all the spacing modules of all the supported tools be the same size and be in the same position. I switch back to my brush tool and I right click on the module I want to be a source. And uh, of course, this can be done in the edit mode with several modules selected. But now I only need this one. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to select copy size position to all tools. And now if I switch to mixer and smudge, the spacing module has exactly the same size and the same position as the one that brush has. So now I just can move them slightly and have some consistency between, between the same module of different tools. So that's it for this update. Uh, let me know if you have any questions via email or on my Discord. Links are available in the description. And that's it. Have a nice day.